hi today i'm going to take a topic about torus interconnect torus interconnect is the latest interconnect architecture which are used in the top 500 and uh, the um, their definition is it can be visualized as a mesh interconnect with nodes arranged in a rect rect linear array of n equal to 2 comma 3 or more dimensional with process connect to the nearest neighbor and corresponding process on opposite edge of the array connector. Uh, it will maintain the rect linear array. Here n is a dimension. Is each server is co connected to the nearest neighbor or to the opposite edge of the array. For example, if you are going to connect with 1D array, the 1D array have two neighbor and uh, in the closed network and uh, 2D torus each server have uh, four neighbors and 3d array each server has a six neighbors and to calculate the maximum number of servers we can obtain the formula is n power 1 for one dimensional n power 2 for two dimensional and uh, n power 3 for 3d dimensional and uh, if you are using uh, 10 servers the 10 and uh, then uh, maximum in the one uh, is now 10 number of nodes we can obtain and if n is equal to 10, 10 power 2 is 100 nodes maximum we can obtain. If n is equal to 3, maximum we can obtain 1000 nodes. In that way, we can build the torus network. I will illustrate in the diagram so you will come to know very easy. This is the 1T torus and this is the 2D torus diagram. the 2D torus this is the 2D torus so each server you can uh, consider rectangle as the server so each server has a four neighbor for example for this server has a four neighbor one two three four this is the neighbor server and the edging edging server is how looping to the another edging server for example this edge server look to the another edge server this edge server pointed to the another edge server just like it will point it to the edge server pointed to the another edge of the server this is the 2d torus and in the 3d torus this is the 2d 3d torus illustrated in the different perspective this is the one way this is the other way i'll explain from this way this 3d torus have a each server have a six neighbor for example this server have a six nearest neighbor this the one two three four and this is five and this the six just like each server connected to the six nearest neighbor and uh, edge of the servers connected to the another edge of the servers this one this and this is this just like each neighbor is connected to the nearest neighbor and edge of the server point to the other edge of the servers this is the 3d torus in this way we can build and uh, 2d torus and 3d torus and this torus network it will mainly get benefit when we are using uh, the high performance computing programming algorithm exchange the data with the close nearest neighbor in that way we'll get the uh, benefit in the torus network and using this uh, we can reduce the cost and we will get the maximum high throughput compared to the infinite band interconnect architecture 100% non blocking and when we can use this torus uh, topology the computational code must exceed locality of communication some high performance programming coding it will use the neighborhood servers rather than the longest server in that way this torus topology it will get benefit and the another point is when the RTR PBS Pro and platform NSF this job schedule itself we can assign the job to the nearest neighbor nearby that uh, the term is topology hour topology hour RTR PBS Pro using this job scheduler we can schedule the job with the nearest server in that case also we can use the 3D torus network and depends on the 3D torus network we have to maintain the infinite band host space adapter also for example the 2d this is the 2d 
torus network server uh, motherboard in this two torus network we have four neighbor so we should maintain the four inbuilt for space adapter for example in this case 1 2 3 4 this is the 2d torus motherboard this is the 3d torus uh, motherboard have six inbuilt for space adapter 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Thanks for watching. If you have any question, you can comment.